Doll, what you've told me is crucial and I have to take this information to the police so they can stop their evil plan to end your father. Will mother go to jail? Only if she's found to be the one behind your father's sickness. Now I need you to tell me one more time what you heard her saying on the phone. Okay. Well. It's alright honey take your time. Yesterday at the hospital, on the phone, she was talking to the man I saw, whose house she brought me to, or at least I think it was his, and she was calling him handsome and talking about living with him while shipping me off to a boarding school forever. Uh huh, keep going dear. And, and something about sticking to the plan since daddy's weak, so it shouldn't take long to end him and how the doctors found the poison in my dad's system. That's all I can remember. You did well doll. Thank you. Miss Marsha is my mom evil. Yes she is honey and I'm just being real with you. If she's involved in a murder scheme to collect your dad's insurance money. And the way she treats you, not to mention she's only looking out for herself not concerned who gets hurts in the process. Yes, I would label that as an evil person. The Bible says such a person is wicked. But there's hope for her if she repents of her sins and gives her life to Christ. How do you know her? We were college roommates later turned good friends, and I saw you a few years after you were born and onwards, and that's how you know me too. But, something happened to her and she became a different person a few years before she married your dad. I never said anything to him because I didn't want to stand in the way of her happiness, although I offered her to come to church with me but she refused. I wish you were my mother Miss Marsha. Oh, thank you honey. But the best thing your mother did was having you, and if she never had you, I wouldn't have the pleasure of knowing how much of a wonderful girl you've turned out to be. I'm glad you're here Dolia, you're a wise young lady, you're not a mistake. God has a special plan for you. Thank you. My mother never told me this. She always pretended to love and care about me in front of others, but when I'm alone with her, she talk as if she don't love me at all. My dear, I'm sorry that's happened to you. You surely don't deserve that. Every child needs their parents' love, care and protection. She needs help and prayer. And, I'm sorry for telling you I never liked her when I once did. We were good friends. It's just, when she changed... She changed for the worst and who she became was frightening and upsetting, but I never thought she would be capable of all this. It's been years since we spoke and I was fine with that. But hey, enough about this. How about we order takeout? I'll get you whatever you want, but just for tonight. Okay. Take those ridiculous glasses off, it's giving me a headache. Or, you don't like them? Omar. Better. No, you're still ugly. <laughs> and you're wickedly beautiful. Yeah, I know. So what's the plan now? So my darling, here's how it's going down. I'll drop a large dose of this poison in his tube tonight. Believe me, this will kill him on the spot. Do what you must because he will not stop me from seeing my daughter. And why do you care about seeing her again? I thought you were trying to get rid of her. Because, she's still my daughter and I want all the power over her to do with her what I please. And, because, although I don't like her, I still want to see her face sometimes, even if I'm making her suffer. Women. Well I'll get ready. Well my dear how do I look? Like you're about to kill somebody. That's the plan. He's worth 10 million dollars and you my girl. Hit the jackpot. Hmm. Come here, babe. You looking good and I don't have to be at work till another 20 minutes. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, and? What do you want? I think you know exactly what I want. Well, you're not getting it until you get the job done. Now you know I don't like it with you turn me down. But if it eases your mind, consider the job done. And how are you so sure? Sweetheart, I'm a doctor at that hospital, 
I can waltz him there and do whatever I want without getting caught or blamed for it. They trust me, and more importantly, he'll trust me too and before he knows it, boom, he's dead. See, that's what I like to hear. You bad little girl, I knew you would, now come here before my shift starts. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dr. Baxter and I'll be your new doctor. What happened to my old doctor? They switched us due to change of shifts, but I'm fine assisting you if you're fine with it. <coughs> sure. They said I should be discharged by the end of the week. Good, good. How are you feeling? Better but a little faint at times. My stomach feels good and I can eat again in smaller portions. Excellent. Having an ulcer is a nasty thing, but I'm happy you're alive and feeling better. Deadly poisons are the worst to get out of the system. I'll be back in an hour to check on you. Thanks. Do he really think I care about him? When he's sleeping I'll put this in his tube and nobody will suspect a thing. And then all of his insurance money will be mine, his wife is just a pawn in my game. I'll replace her soon with a hotter younger woman. And the Lord said, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand, repent ye, and believe the gospel. That was Mark 1 15 KJV. Amen to that. Dear why aren't you sleeping? Miss Marsha, I want to see my dad tonight. Please can we go see him? I think visiting hours are over. No, not until 9. It's only 8.15. Well if it means that much to you then sure. I'll take you to see him. Yes, thank you. Oh, and before I see him, I'll make him a get roll card again. Go for it. Miss Marsha, that's the man I saw with my mother, the doctor with the afro. It's him. You sure? I'm very sure. Then I'll call the cops. Marsha Brooks, can I speak to you in private for a moment? Is everything okay with Trevor? He's fine, for now. For now? What do you mean by that? He was doing good last time we spoke. I'm telling you this because I couldn't get a hold of his wife, but maybe you could relay the message to her. What's going on? Did something happen to him? No. But it seems one of our doctors are conspiring against Mr. Himerson when he falls asleep. Dr. Baxter is his name and they heard him planning to poison Trevor to death and collect his insurance money upon other things he planned for himself. He didn't think anybody heard him but I did, as I was walking by. I can really get in trouble for telling you, so please, don't say anything to anybody here, I'll have everything under control and I'm calling the cops. Goodness gracious. Are you talking about the doctor with the afro and a swiped up mustache? As a matter of fact I am, you know him? God no, but the little girl was telling me her mother, Trevor's wife, was conspiring with Dr. Baxter against Trevor just last night here at the hospital on a phone call. The girl knew how he looked because she said he picked them up from a bus stop and brought them to his place but she managed to escape earlier today and I happened to see her and picked her up because I know her. I think they're the ones who poisoned Trevor in the first place, but we have no evidence. No, you're kidding. Unfortunately I kid you not, and I was about to call the cops also. Tell you what, I'll call the cops and you two hang tight, and when the cops arrive give your statements and then I'll give mine. But we need to first catch him in the act. What do you suppose? I'll hide in the room behind that little corner recording his every move on my phone. So when he's about to strike I'll have everything on video and stop him. That's a brilliant plan. Well we'll be out here waiting on you. Marsha, this is a great thing for the hospital because there was always something off about Dr. Baxter. Nobody really trusted him and if we can get this evidence of him trying to kill somebody then this proof will connect to the first crime when they tried poisoning him to death and then it's history for both him and Mrs. Himerson. Everybody wins. So how much time would they get? It should be around 30 to life. 
Well I'll get ready to hide in the room after I call the cops. Be ready. Be careful. The moment of truth. Goodbye Trevor, hello early retirement and hot younger babes on a beach island. Well. Nothing to it, than to do it. Smile Omar, you're being recorded. Man, you're one cruel human being aren't you? Where did you come from Damien? Were you spying on me? Yes I was, but you're not too smart are you? You should have kept your evil plans and thoughts to yourself because you never know who's listening. I don't know what you mean. Drop the act, you're being recorded and you're going down for a long time. Step away from Mr. Himerson, it's over. You're finished for good. Daddy, are you okay? I'm fine, sweetie. I just can't believe he was a dirty doctor, and, working with my wife. Thanks for giving a statement on my behalf. You and Marcia. Thank you, you saved my life. You're welcome, Trevor, but it's by God's grace. Police, open up. I better escape through the window. Oh gosh, I'm speeding out of control. Evidence and store surveillance cameras, proof of purchasing rat poison, bleach and their fingerprints found against Liliana and Dr. Omar Baxter to win alive Trevor to collect his $10 million insurance money. Omar served life in prison and Liliana could no longer walk and was paralyzed from her neck down with a broken left foot, but she also served life in a jailhouse nursing home. Trevor healed completely and he gave great thanks to Marcia, but she redirected him to give thanks to God for protecting and healing him. He still thanked her also for staying by his side. He won full custody of Dolia and Marcia assured Dolia she was always welcomed at her home. Trevor rarely visited Liliana, but he and Marcia became really close, understanding they couldn't be anything more than friends since his wife was still alive, and she respected it though he longed for Marcia and loved her greatly. He wanted to convert to Christianity, so Marcia had the church brothers assist him, and he repented, believed in Jesus Christ, and got baptized. <laughs> 